I think we live in such a beautiful city that is surrounded by water literally on three sides. So it's very easy to forget that we are actually a water scarce, a water poor region, and we run the risk of using it all up if we don't change our ways. The first time I heard the expression day zero was when the city of Cape Town started using it as a marketing phrase, and we all woke up to these terrifying apocalyptic headlines. We were told either it's these strict limits or we will just shut, shut off your taps and we will have no choice. And then you will have to queue at water stations. It was going to be like those lines that you see in security airports. We were told that the police would be there and if necessary, the army to make sure that there were no riots and no pushing and that everybody um, behaved in an orderly fashion. I was so angry. We had seen this coming, not even for years, but for decades. And then eventually I thought, well, it's pointless being angry. It's not helping anybody. Let's be part of the solution. My job is to keep reminding people that we can so easily be back here again. We've got a growing population pressure. We've got aging infrastructure. We have a city that is scrambling to come up with new ways to make us more water resilient. And those projects are all long-term, over decades. I started posting the tips, the water-saving tips, on my blog. The blog went viral and emails came pouring in. Interestingly enough, from all over the world, this is truly a crowdsourced book. This shows how you can use an ordinary middle-class washing machine without relying on municipal water. It's not rocket science. Remember, this is rainwater. It's harvested and the washing machine has never complained. I've also got this nifty little trick, my off-grid shower system. This is a garden sprayer, but what you do is you put about two litres of rainwater in here, you boil half a kettle and you add it, get a nice temperature. You then use a plunger to build up a bit of pressure and hey presto. So we do need to live as if day zero is around the corner because it is. I want to be remembered as somebody who, in the course of an ordinary life, showed that you can be an activist every hour of every day of your life and you can still be making a difference. And if I leave that message behind, I will be so happy.